Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Abs from Abs Techie. Today's video is about AMD versus NVIDIA GPU or graphics card. So if you love to play games at 1080p and you are confused about choosing Team Red or Team Green that is AMD or NVIDIA graphics card or GPU, then this video is for you. I'm covering the topic with Far Cry 3 gameplay, so stay tuned. Let me first give you guys some basic ideas about GPU. Many people still think that the gigabytes or VRAM like 1 gigabyte or 2 gigabytes are the most important thing in graphics card details. Now never become fooled by that again. To be honest, you don't need more than 2 gigabytes of VRAM when playing in a single display. So if you think you will get more performance in a single display just because you have more than 2 gigabytes of VRAM then you are wrong. Yes, you need more than 2 GB of VRAM for better performance when you are playing in more than a single display. So let's come to the conclusion that 2 GB is more, uh, more than enough for a single display and for multiple displays we need more than 2 GB. Now let me tell you guys the most important thing you need to know when buying a graphics card. The thing that matters the most are the cores and memory clock speed. That makes the difference. The more they are, the better they perform. But there are some other specifications to look at too. Now let's come to AMD versus NVIDIA. Which graphics card do you need? Let's see how both manufacturers perform in their top cards. I will show the benchmark of three games for the high ending cards of NVIDIA and AMD. We will compare the ARM 9290X and the GTX 780 Ti. Now some of you might be thinking that why not the GTX 980 Ti? Well because I didn't get the opportunity to get a hand to that for the benchmarks and the R9290X and the GTX 780 Ti almost are of same time. Also AMD R9290X is much older and much cheaper compared to the GTX 980 Ti. So let's compare the R9290X versus GTX 780 Ti. Let's start with Battlefield 4. We turn the settings to Ultra and also anti-aliasing at 4x MSAA in 1080p. You can see that the R9290X runs it in 67.2 frames per second and the GTX 780 Ti at 75.8 frames per second on average. Using two R9290X and Crossfire we get an average frames per second of 101.2. On the other hand, Using two GTX 780 Ti and SLI, we get 110.6 frames per second. Moving on to Bioshock Infinite at Ultra 1080p, we get an average frames per second of 95.5 in R9290X and 110.85 in GTX 780 Ti. Using two R9290X and Crossfire, we get 145.7 and with two GTX 780 Ti and SLI, we get 175.79 frames per second. Now, we move on to one of the most challenging titles, Crisis 3, and we turn the settings to very high and anti-aliasing 4X MSAA at 1080p. Here for R9290X, we get 50.2 frames per second. Combining two R9290X by Crossfire, we get 93.6 frames per second. Now for GTX 780 Ti, we get 54.5 frames per second. Combining two GTX 780 Ti with SLI, we get 98.3 frames per second. Now let's see what 3D Mark Fire Extreme have for us. R9290X gets a score of 4847. Combining two of them by crossfire, we get 7846. 780 Ti gets a score of 4888. Combining two GTX 780 Ti by SLI gets a score of 8297. So in all graphs, we see that NVIDIA wins the race, but the R9290X being much cheaper is close enough as well. So now it's for you to decide. Do you want the R9290X which performs very well for its price or spend some more money for some more FPS in gaming? Remember you don't feel anything more than 60 frames per second in your gaming experience. So now the choice is yours. AMD always gives solutions much cheaper. So you have to sacrifice some performance and it creates some more heat and sound. On the other side of the story, 
nvidia gives you much more performance and less heat with less sound and costs you much more so comparing these two high-end cards we come to a conclusion that there is actually no answer to the question amd versus nvidia they both are good for what they cost it's upon you to decide which suits your performance and price range same goes for the mid-range and budget entry-level cards amd give you performance at a cheaper price nvidia will give you more performance and cost you more remember to buy the graphics card which is best performer in your price range i can only tell you up to this hopefully this video will help you to get a bit more idea about the amd versus nvidia don't forget to leave a like if it helped you and let me know below in the comments which you are gonna buy and why and to keep up with more upcoming contents like this don't forget to subscribe i'm apps from appsticky and see you in my next video bye for now